guess what came in the mail hey guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how to change this sensor on your ecoboost mustang it takes like five minutes to do it but um if you guys need help you guys can watch this video and you guys can pretty much change this in your garage or your driveway or wherever you guys want to in my previous video i did mention that i didn't buy this from ford um i bought it from cj pony parts because ford is selling it for 93 dollars which is insane um i bought this for 75 i believe but this was a sensor that was like 20 dollars something like a couple years ago which like the market value is crazy now um this sensor does help um prevent to blow up these mustangs because when this sensor fails the car usually starts to go lean yeah so as i said if you guys do have an ecoboost mustang um i do recommend changing it in my opinion um it's not too hard you rather change this for 70 something dollars than changing the whole block on this um but it's your choice so this is a part number um you guys can screenshot this um let it focus and you guys can go search it up on google and it shows many like websites where you can buy this i do not recommend ebay because ebay for car parts is kind of like sus i don't really trust ebay let's be honest here um i rem remember i did buy um coil packs for my ecoboost mustang and those were all trash and it started misfiring my car okay step one is leave this car as is overnight do not drive this leave it cold um if the car is hot uh, or if you've driven it that sensor the same one as this is connected to the fuel rail which is that if the car is hot the, the fuel will start splashing everywhere so you want it cold if you have driven this there's another way to change it and prevent the fuel from splashing it you disconnect the fuel pump and you start the car and you let the car running until the fuel runs out from that fuel line i'm not going to do it that way i'm going to show you guys a better way just leaving the car as is overnight um, most people do change it by letting the car run but i'm not going to do that isn't opening a new toolbox satisfying like don't you guys get tingles Whew. Okay, step one is to unclip this. To unclip this, you pretty much um, pull this back. Be careful not to damage anything. But just push it, push it back. Hold it right there and then just push it back. There you go. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a cloth and we're gonna um, push it underneath so that even if fuel does um, squirt out, we will not be squirting all over the engine or any other places. This will just help. Fuel isn't supposed to come out, especially if the engine is cold, but um, we're just gonna be careful and not um, make the whole engine bay dirty because we did clean it a couple of videos ago. Next, we're gonna use these two tools to take that off. And we're gonna use this to hold on to this point right there. While we hold on to this, we're gonna use the soccer wrench take it off from there and we're gonna just unscrew it from there um, this is a 24 millimeter oh yeah. taking it off yeah this one looks worn out this is the old one
Yeah, so I connected the clip back in there and it looks fine to me. Now I'm just gonna start it up. I let the car run um, a little be warm now I'm just gonna double check with my rag that if there's any leaking or anything so I'm just gonna do this check around if there's anything leaking on the side it needs to be dry Yeah, so that's it. Um, that's the perfect way to install that sensor. As I showed you, it only takes five minutes. Um, you can do it anytime, um, even at your garage. Yeah, but I do recommend it, but it's totally up to you. Um, I just was going off what the forums were saying about the Mustang EcoBoost. Dutch Bros, Dutch Bros, Dutch Bros, Dutch Bros, Dutch Bros, Dutch Bros. Cheers! Look how good this looks. Alright, now we're getting talk about. I'm not eating anything because, you know, I don't eat junk food, but what the my hell? sister came and she wanted to try this blueberry freeze. So, like, I'm gonna try some. That's it. I'm not gonna drink any more. Alright, we're done. Alright, stay away from junk food, kids.